Hey, what's up? John Lang, Wash Life. Thanks for clicking on the video. I hope you enjoy it. This was just uh, some footage of us doing a ton of flat work. Flat work is really awesome. It's really straightforward. It's really low risk. Um, so if you can get equipped to do it, by all means, do it. Uh, you can go, you can move really fast, really efficient. I really highly suggest an 8-gallon a minute power washer and uh, rock it out. You know, we were rocking an 8-gallon a minute and a 4-gallon a minute power washer for that whole job. And it worked out really, really nice. So, hey, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and enjoy the video. Peace. Burr. Good morning, good morning. So today we have almost three grand worth of flat work to do. Just concrete cleaning. And I'm gonna clean a little bit of the roof. It's like a little, probably not even an 800 square foot shop. Maybe it is 800 square feet. Anyway, here's our proportioner. So we got our soap line. It's as short as I could make it. We'll just pretty much go straight down and it's three eighths and then there, everything else is three quarter inch i wanted to use three quarter inch so we got our soap line and water line and then i rented a hot water machine it's like a four gallon a minute hot water machine We'll see how that works. I didn't get a chance to set it up how I wanted. I wanted to fix the fitting on the um, tank so we could draw from the tank with that and the eight gallon a minute. But it didn't work out, so I don't know if I'm gonna have enough water sources. And then we'll have to see how this works out. Probably is not gonna work. I didn't get a chance to test it. <laughs> I was sick of going back and forth to the store. So this like fit in there just perfect. Well, I even had to like screw it in, kind of force it in. I threw a um, PVC sealer on it, a hose barb. We'll see. All right. Well, I'm going to get ready and uh, I'll, I'll post some footage of us surface cleaning. <laughs> going really heavy with it. So yeah, I don't want to waste a ton of chem pre-cheating. So I'm just having them lightly hit the top just with a quick layer to help kill off that, help lift some of that stuff up. There you go. That's you can go a little bit stronger, kind of backtrack, do what you're doing and overlap it a little. Yeah. But this will help lift this while this is sitting, it can uh, help lift it up for Aaron. It's after 12 o'clock. We've been working. We got this whole batting cage done. Colt's just polishing up this whole place. I did the front half of the roof. We've done a few sections of this. There's like 50 squares. Aaron's working on that right now. Concrete cleaning's pretty sweet. It's pretty straightforward. It's taking a little longer than I wanted to, but that's always the case. So our hose won't reach any farther. It just turned out that way, so how clean all that is. But we're just a little shy right here. So that's how dirty this stuff was. We're zipping through it. Here we go. 
whole bedding cage, hit the sides with roof mix, hit the top with roof mix, spray it off. Yeah, it looks good. I should have got it before. But Tomorrow we're gonna do that mini golf area over there, but we got everything done. Batting cage and that whole strip over there and all the concrete for that shop. It's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. So we're back here again, day number two. I knew this job would probably take two days. This mini golf area has a lot of sidewalks and windiness and but uh, yeah, we're gonna be double teaming it here pretty soon and that should work. So yeah, I probably already mentioned it, but this proportioner thing is working out really well. Um, probably gotta learn how to, what dials are gonna work for me because it's, it's gonna change. It's gonna change for everybody depending on what pump you use. So once I get mine fine-tuned, you know, and dialed into exactly the ratios that I like, then I can kind of share those on what works with my pump so you can kind of mimic mimic the, uh, the setup I got if you want. So yeah. <clears throat> There's a before this side of the roof. We'll be working so fast, I forget to take before and after photos sometimes, so the other side is too late. I didn't get a before picture. This side's pretty much just as dirty. Oh, and one more thing. I forgot. I think I wrote in a little text in the clip. I did forget to take an after shot. You know, it's just how it is. When you're in the field and you're working and you're trying to get everything done and everything's moving really fast, you forget to pull out the camera and record. Or sometimes the phone is dying and you can't even, you know, it's charging or whatever, so... That job, my phone would not stop ringing. It was literally ridiculous. So we got a lot of jobs coming up, potential jobs coming up. Uh, the next video coming up will be a midnight, a midnight um, gas station cleaning, surface cleaning and awning cleaning. It'll be the first time using EBC cleaner. I got a uh, sample sent to me. Um, thanks to Carlos, the guy who created EBC. So we're gonna try that out and I'll let you know what I think.